Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have a new update. So I have 331 plots and farming. I have additional, I actually added another additional harvester and I found out something really interesting that we can do with these harvesters. Stay with me on this one. All right, first off, I want to thank everyone who reached out to me. I'm putting together the, the Bitcoins. I probably have sent it out, some of them by now, uh, if you're watching this. Um, thank you for all these uh, great guys. I'm gonna try to put a video together, make sure I shout you guys out as well, because you guys really make my day and actually enjoy doing this and knowing that people are actually watching this and appreciating it. So I wanna thank you guys for that. I know I did a video on a how-to on the harvester and one additional thing that I've learned that was very critical is that there was a step in there. I didn't know if I wanted to redo the whole video, but there's a step in there where I said you can import the 24 seed keys, you know, the 24 words uh, for your key. It's not necessary. You can if you want. It, there's no, I mean, there is a harm and <laughs> So I don't want to freak you guys out, but if you do do that, that harvester becomes a little more vulnerable. It's almost like I give everyone in my family the password to my email, even though I trust them with my entire life, but that just compromises the fact that any one of them can slip. Uh, you know, they can write it down somewhere or they can just, you know, remember or blurt it out one day, or I have to worry about if they were to log in from a public machine that they would click on, you know, save password or something. So in essence, a harvester is doing that. If you were to import all these information, it's very important keys to access your wallet. So one thing you can actually do is omit that because as long as you have the certificate to communicate back to the farmer, the harvester doesn't really need to know what the farmer is doing. It just needs to tell the farmer what itself is doing or what it has done, meaning if it's plotting and it finished the plots, it's just gonna tell the farmer, all right, I'm done. You can do what you need to do now. I don't need to see, I don't need to know anything else. By giving access, by putting the keys into the harvester, you're just making him a target. Meaning if there's some type of malicious attack going forward later, let's just say you, you secure down the whole farming rig, firewall, everything's protected and put all these you know security measures around that particular farmer you know sometimes we treat the harvester as a just a worker a miner a you know you however you want to treat it and there's really no special security that you would focus on a harvester because your thinking is you know a harvester is just a, a a worker it's just doing what it's supposed to do but that harvester is actually holding some critical information such as your seed keys now if that machine was to get compromised, especially if you use it to go out on the internet, and of course, as Chia grows in popularity, there's gonna be targets. There's already probably things out there trying to target these type of machines. Hackers, malicious attacks, would be hoping that you don't update the machines, you don't, you're don't, you not as well protected, your operating system's a little dated. So you have those type of um, measures that you have to take in consideration when you're putting in these keys into the harvester. So what I've done, even though I demonstrated that I put this harvester on with the C keys, you know, it's in my internal network, I am behind the firewall and I am behind the router, so I have certain things in place to protect it. Now, I'm not too concerned with that, but as you're growing, you're putting out more harvesters. So let's just say you have your farming rig at home and you're, you're connecting more harvesters, right? You go over to your girlfriend's house or your wife's boyfriend's house and you're putting out these harvesters and you wanna communicate back to the farmer. You don't wanna put your keys on those machines because you don't know what potentially can happen with those machines, especially if they're still using it and you're kind of running this on the background in the command line, which is cool if they allow you to do that i wouldn't suggest that doing it at work because that can get you into a lot of trouble uh, i'm sure places of work environments will have certain policies in place in regards to stuff like this i've heard of few all right so you have to be really careful with that i set up a new harvester and maybe i'll do another video in regards to omitting that step because the harvester doesn't really need to have need to know that much information just as long as the farmer knows that it exists and that it's plotting 
And when it has the plots available, it would take that and go out and try to win these Chia coins. Now, the other question I've been getting a lot is, after you do the harvester, it's writing to an external drive or internal drive and you have these plots, do you still have to copy them over to the farming machine? No, you don't. What happens is the farmer would acknowledge the fact that this harvester has accomplished this task of having plots and it'll check against it. You don't have to go to the farmer and start adding a directory for it because the harvester is gonna tell it. It's more important for the harvester to know that these plots exist and that information will get relayed back to the farmer and the farmer will take that and say, okay, it's gonna go out to the internet and start doing this thing on the blockchain and start looking for these winning lotto tickets or bingo cards or whatever you want to call them and then that's how that will work so you don't have to physically move these plots over to the farmer because the harvester is already doing its job by saving the plots onto these uh, drives all right to these farming drives so you could do that the, the only downside that i feel that i have with that is originally i wanted to plug in everything into the farming rig it's faster this way because i have two machines actually three machines now plotting and one machine actually going out and doing the farm so right now the two harvesters i have is running single i'm actually testing i want to see what the time i'm getting for each plot for i i know my i7 is getting well actually they're both i7s but the lower generation i7 the one of the original i7s it's coming in at 12 hours and i believe the other one that i have which is the little small form factor in the Lenovo is coming in at about uh, I believe 10 hours or maybe a little less maybe around 9 plus uh, they are taking long but again these are really old older machines and I have it available having even though it's taking that long my primary rig which is this one behind me to perform more to add a, a two additional plots while it's doing what it can do so I'm averaging about, uh, I would say, maybe like 15 plots now a day, which is a decent amount uh, because I'm pushing out, this one's pushing out like four plots every five hours. So four, four, uh, you know, give or take. And I try not to set my cues too high where they're like 15, 20 cues. I, I kind of set them between eight to 10. So that way, if an issue comes about, I could just kind of monitor it it forces me to kind of monitor it i mean i could easily set it but right now since my drive capacity is almost reaching its limit i have to be really cautious of how much i'm writing over to there so it doesn't overfill i do not know what happens if it if it has no room for that last few files for that last file to be honest i don't know if it just pauses and waits for me to transition over to another drive that has space or it just kills it so I, I'm not honestly willing to take that chance. So I'm just limiting how many queues. I'm calculating how many queues I should put in place before the drive actually fills up. And then I'll start a new queue or a parallel and point it over to another drive that has the capacity to hold uh, X amount. So that's pretty much um, what I wanted to talk about today. So maybe I will do another video for the harvester because there was a lot of confusion on what and how the harvester is takes a takes play in all this so so in short the farmer is a harvester as well so what i learned was that it runs two demons uh, one is the farmer one is the harvester it is a harvester and they you know the terminology kind of throws some people off like the harvester when it's plotting and it's farming already so why do you have a harvester but the farmer is also a harvester so yeah uh i would you know i'm now that I'm thinking about it, I will do another video. Uh, but this was my update for today, and I uh, hope you guys found this useful. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I want to thank you guys for always being here. Appreciate it. Bye.